Another quick video here. I told a, a subscriber that I would show him my mill riser that I made originally. The uh, riser that I use right now is is this thing, which is a kind of a table. It's a two-axis table, and it works real well. But I didn't have that originally, so I started to make one, and I did make one, and it was made out of a piece of I beam. It's about five inches wide, about six inches tall, and it's about seven inches long. I put different holes in here for different ways of mounting. And then on the bottom, just four holes to go into uh, the table, which is covered in the table. And basically, I just, uh, as you can see, I fly cut it so that it was relatively flat. It's not perfect. You can see these crappy welds. That's my old welder I had. Made those and, you know, blame the welder. Uh, this side I just took a plate off that I had around and welded it down and then kind of ground it flush or ground a, a bevel on it anyway. And on this side, I didn't want to do that because I don't really remember why. There was some reason I didn't want to do that. It was something about accessing these bolt holes that are under here. Um, but so I just put two plates on here. As you can see, again, crappy welds. And uh, it worked pretty well. It's, it's surprisingly flat. I never checked it with a gauge, but uh, it, was, it was pretty flat. Um, I did a couple of little small jobs with it before um, I got the other piece and uh, it did real well. If you're not familiar with these, the reason you need a riser is because there's a whole lot of space. There's a whole lot of space between the uh, mill spindle and the table. And it only goes down, it only goes down about four inches. So you need something to take up this space, all this space here, and get your work, you know, up in this area here. And uh, that's what the riser's for. They Now they sell these. I saw them on the, he had sent me a link to the Clark website. I saw them on the Clark website. They're about 60 bucks. I think I took, I did this one in about, putting it together was about an hour. And then the uh, flat cutting, probably two or three hours. Just getting it as, as flat as I could. And basically I just cut one side at whatever it was with it, with it bolted down. And then flipped it over and made sure that that side was sitting nice and flush. Or nice and flat and uh, did the other side. So they're probably not square this direction. But the the bottom and the, t and the top are, are parallel as close as they're going to as close as they're going to get on this machine. Anyway, so I had originally was going to go ahead and, and go ahead and try to make this side also so that you could mount things on the side, but uh, I never got around to that because I got the other thing, and it works a lot better. It lets you get the get you into position better. Anyway, just a short video just to show this thing, see how, see how it was constructed. Um, like I said, you can see it's just an I-beam with some pieces added onto it. And uh, again, I appreciate you watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.